Our headliner tonight is Brian Morrison. Brian is an Indianapolis native and multiple business owner. He is a cathedral graduate and a Vincennes University alumnus. He has lived in four states and traveled the world. Most recently, he visited Hong Kong, Thailand, and Malaysia. And he also went to Costa Rica to facilitate leadership roundtables. In 1994, Brian met a motivational speaker that changed the course of his life and put him on the path of personal growth and helping others. This enabled him to find his own passion, which is speaking and mentoring today's youth. One of his favorite quotes is from his mentor, John C. Maxwell, to add value to others, you must first value others. Please give him a big, big Sparks welcome as he comes to the stage. Thanks, Big C. Can we give uh, Chris a round of applause in this, this Sparks staff? This guy, I've known him for a while, and I, I love what you're doing, big man. I'm excited and challenged. I'm excited because I get to speak to you all who are like-minded, growth and learning people. I'm challenged on two accounts. One, the, the shortest speech I've done is two hours. <laughs> so can you imagine the, 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 the trouble I went through, a guy who loves to talk, and they've limited, limited me to 10 minutes? I still love you though, Chris. My second is the topic, luck and fortune. It made me think, what's luck got to do with it? You know, we use luck in a term of, man, I found some money on the street. Ooh, what a lucky guy. Uh, you know, I, I, I was lucky to get this. Um, you know, a near miss accident. Woo, glad I was the lucky one that didn't get hit. But we also, have issues with that one thing, bad luck. And so, as I was thinking, I thought, let me go figure this out. So, I pulled up Webster's. Now, for you people who are under 40, Webster's is a book that has a, a, a lot of words in it with, <laughs> with definitions. I know you guys uh, uh, use Google today, but, but, but back, in, back in my day, and I know I'm dating myself, we had Webster. So, I looked at Webster and, and he said, fortune is chance or luck as an external arbitrary force affecting human affairs. Hmm, there's that word luck. He said luck is success or failure apparently brought by chance rather than through one's own action. Wow. So according to Webster, he said we have to have luck to have fortune, okay? But my question was still not answered. And so, I was thinking, is luck really arbitrary? Or do we, are we the type of people that make luck on our own with hard work and perseverance? Well, Thomas Jefferson said this, I'm a great believer in luck. I find the harder I work, the luckier I get. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we agree. For those of us who worked hard, we agree. And so it still was not giving me the answers on, on luck and fortune. So as I was thinking, I, I started to, to think about a, a, a point of which luck came to me and blessed me with fortune. You see, I was a young college a, a guy coming out of college and when I, I didn't want to move back home, and I lived here in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I didn't want to move back home, so a friend of mine invited me to move to Chicago with him and his, his parents. I thought, what the heck, the big city of Chicago, new, this is my, I just graduated, new career, 20-something 20, 20 year old guy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up here and make my, work, make my way. So I moved up to Chicago. A few weeks in, having trouble finding jobs. Well, one day, a young man came down on the elevator, and, and, and uh, I met him. And uh, his, name was, his name was Morgan, and, and, and he was a really, really nice guy. My age, I thought, man, cool. And uh, he took me up to meet his mom. Well, as luck have it, his mom happened to be 
uh, a, a business owner. She was also one of the first black millionaires in the United States, and she had a company. So she just talked to me, hey, how you doing? How's your, how's your time here in Chicago, and, and you know, what are you doing? And I, I explained to her, you know, having a tough time, looking for a job. And she said, well, I got a job for you. So I said, okay, I'm eager, I'll do whatever. My first job in Chicago was, as some of you over 40 remember, there was a, there was a football league called the USFL. I was the account executive for the Chicago Blitz. That was my first job in Chicago. Skybox, whoo, I thought that was great. Well, a few months later, we all know, know what happened to the USFL. It debunked. There goes my job. Man, there goes my skybox. And I thought, man, I'm going to have to go back out here on this workforce and, and try to find another job. Well, again, as luck would have it, this lady owned an advertising agency. And she offered me a position in the music, on the music production team. So I was going to be writing jingles and, and doing music production for this company. Oh, wow. But I want you to understand something here. These two jobs had nothing to do with what I graduated. I graduated in computers. I hadn't even touched a computer. So I studied, and I learned, and I watched, and I followed everybody I could so I could be the best. And a few short months later, she calls her son and I in her office. We sit down, and she's got this beautiful, lavish office overlooking the Magnificent Mile. If, you've, if you all have ever been to Chicago, it's you know beautiful city. And she offers two young men a chance to have their own business. Now me, again, a young man coming out of Indianapolis to Chicago, the big city, I wasn't prepared for this. I just wanted a job. But dad didn't teach no fool. I, I accepted the company. And so off I ran. This was the start of my entrepreneurial career. And so, at that time, it seemed like I was lucky to be at the right place at the right time. But I think about it today, and I'm thinking, man, was, was I just eager to, to learn and eager to get something and, and just persevere and work? Well, Robert Collier says this, all of us have bad luck and good luck. The man who persists through the bad luck, who keeps right on going, is the man who is there when the good luck comes and is ready to receive it. All of us here have been through some things, good luck, bad luck. But one thing you have to recognize is that whatever luck it is, It doesn't matter because is it arbitrary or is it work and perseverance? I'll leave you with that question. Thank you. Don't delay. Get your ticket for the next Sparks event today.